생각해 So I've been wanting to do this video about my kitchen interiors and I felt that I wasn't showing enough in my first kitchen tour video so I thought it'd be really nice to go through in details today like how I organize to placement and why I do certain things. I did declutter this kitchen in parts before COVID happened and throughout the lockdown season organized a little every day. I'm gonna start with this section from left to right and the bottom from right to left. Here is the cabinet with ingredients I need for cooking or baking. I could easily just grab what I need and with one look, I know what I have to replenish. All the containers are labeled in front and the expiry are at the bottom. I know I have way too many flour here and I really need to consume it before it expires. Oh, let me just show you this flaky salt that I got from Whole Foods. It's the kind of place that sells food without any packaging. So I thought this is quite special, so I got it. Um, you just have to weigh like how much you need and then you bring it home, store it in your own containers. So over here I have honey, salt, lemongrass, maca powder, and matcha powder. In the last container, I'm gonna put nuts in it. Over here, we have all our glassware. These are my favorite glasses and I have two different sizes for it. The bigger glass for daily use and the smaller ones for entertaining guests. The things that I have on the top shelf are things that I hardly use. And then on the bottom shelf are things I use more frequently, especially the containers. As I have limited counter space to keep everything in the open, so I keep my spices and sauces up here because it's a little high up and I want to be able to take a few at a go. So with a tray like this, I'm able to just slide back and forth and see what's on that tray. And if I were to take it down, it takes four spices at a go. For sauces, I found these to be the best. It doesn't leak after a drizzle. And I love that I can close this thing right back after use. So I have about eight of these bottles and eight of these plastic bottles, again, with the opening and closing mechanism. And when they're all put together, they just look like an army in here. And I have this habit of putting everything in the same direction. So they look super neat. And below the sink, there is another army. I want this area to be neat, like unbelievably neat. So I bought these bottles with perfect fitting trays. And that's a pump that links to the soap dispenser. It pumps straight out of a one liter bottle so I don't have to refill it every week. Behind it, I have containers for extra dishwashing pots, dishwashing powder, baking soda, and even accessories. Well, I have another excuse <laughs> for getting these bottles. I mean, first is super aesthetic. Second is because I hurt my bones here. I fell down once in Sydney with my palms down like this. And since then, the bones here are a bit unstable. It tends to pop out if I'm pouring from a heavy bottle. And to help myself, I stopped pouring from a big bottle. And I even changed to a water dispenser because of this. And I have extra mats at this corner. That I can explain. <laughs> it's a pesticide, but it looks super out of place. So I use the leftover wallpaper and I paste it over. <laughs> Aluminium, you know how flimsy the boxes they come in and I need something real solid. So I bought three of these to hold cling wrap, aluminium and baking sheets. But um, the diamond cling wrap doesn't seem to fit in here. So when I put it side by side, the glad Aluminium has a smaller diameter cardboard roll and I hope that uh, when I get a new piece, the 200 feet one, it will fit the box perfectly and I will update you guys in the description box. I have these organizers where I keep all the disposable plastics and these boxes for the plastic bags that we get from groceries. I love, love, love this organizer because it's so good at giving the disposable bags some structure. So, you know, this is unable to stand on its own. And if you want to stack it side by side, it's always a mess. So it came with a flap like this. You can put it here, close it. You can even put it in between two sets of different plastics. So for me, just inside.
So with this box, you can stack it upwards. You can put it this way in your drawers. You can put it this way in your drawers. So super useful. First drawer here, we have utensils. Followed by plates. And the last drawer are all my pots and pans that I try to space it out so it's not a pain when I need to grab something. And right now we're gonna cook steak. So this is actually bought from Stickfield. It came with these potatoes, truffle mustard, and I think he made this butter as well, infused with herbs. Wow, it looks very good. <laughs> and on the next section, we have milk powder here, our dry food cabinet. I know it looks like I'm stockpiling, but no, I got the milk powders during the year-end sale and save a ton. I also like putting them in the same direction so I could see which is stage 1 and 4. And this cereal here is from iHerb, which costs half from what we get at the supermarket. The dry goods and snacks are all up there as I couldn't put it at the bottom because of Emma. Instead of just chucking stuff in, I have extra containers to section them. But some are not closing properly so I will not be recommending these containers. Also, I don't really stock up food unless I'm using it soon. And now for the drink section. We bought the updated version of Physics and this gives you the same draft pour from a pub. Coffee machine. And we are big fans of Nespresso Kazaa. Water dispenser, amazing. It dispenses hot water or any temperature whenever I want. Okay, more drawers. And we have medication, tea and stuff. I moved it here as it needs to be near a water point. These are the medication box that I keep all the leftover medication after you see a doctor. So I've grouped it according to the human body. So from head, throat, stomach, and poop, it opens up like a secret box. I keep about one to two packets of each medication. And if I get new ones, I will just switch it out. And this is the reason why I have it hidden in a container. When it's out in the open, it just looks like a complete mess. And over here, I have more tea bags. And the next drawer, we have mixing bowls, plates, drainers. And the last drawer is still work in progress. I need more organizers like that to hold the bottles in place, else whenever I close the drawer, it would just fall apart. <laughs> and I wish to put all these things uh, vertically so I have more space to put other stuff. And this is the ice ball maker. So you can get it from Shopee for like maybe $3. This is my appliance cabinet and I have added a few more things since the last video. This is a fruits blender and you can make smoothie with it. Uh, there's a rechargeable point so you can bring this out. You can bring this to work and blend smoothies at work. And this is by the Xiaomi ecosystem brand, O Cooker. And you can process meat, you can process vegetables, chili, up to you. But if you want to make something else, they have other attachment that you can use. So this is for making soups. And then they also gave you a mixer. So the cost was about $30, super cheap. And these containers, I got it for free for buying the laundry trays. So I got two of it for free. And the last one here, it's actually the Subit machine by ANOVA. I got it for my husband's birthday. And then, oh, there's one more. That's the cast iron Dutch oven for making bread. We still have a lot of storage space. And this used to be our food cabinet. But now we use it to store paper goods. And some of the dry stuff like rice, pasta, these two are new and it costs $24 each. I don't recommend it unless you have money to throw. These are the OXO containers. No doubt they are airtight and good, but it's just too expensive. <laughs> I bought it 
because I wanted it to match with the previous two containers. So I intend to put oatmeal and chia seeds here. I have a lot of containers again. These are from Ikea. And we have Oreo cheesecake and a lot of beef. Prata. For my fridge, I don't really organize everything just because it goes in and out pretty fast. So I don't put any containers, but I bought trays like that from Ikea and then I just store them in trays. And over here, we have more sauce bottles, eggs, juices, veg. And that's all the vitamins. This is the utility cabinet. And I put my mops, pails, ironing boards here. This is the bottom shelf of the utility cabinet and I like to keep my dirty rags here. Laundry stuff, things that go inside the washer, the iron that goes with the ironing board and I have the robot at the bottom. Here's my laundry area. I now have a dishwasher because I have two kids and so many things to wash. I did a review on the dishwasher. Check it out on my channel. And this tabletop, I believe you've seen it before. I now have more stuff. Another drying rack because the dishwasher is just here. So sometimes I just leave it here when I take it out. And for the utensils, I have this to drain off the excess water. And this is a vase, but I put dishwashing pots in here. And then I kind of have it because it's too big for my dishwasher. So additional hand towels. And yeah, that's kind of it for this video. <laughs> and I'm going to give you a before and after and then a one last tour of my kitchen. some pointers to home organization first you need to declutter it's a painful process because you need to sell donate or discard which will make you think the next time you buy anything second plan where you're gonna put it measure and get containers boxes or trays slowly organize a little every day also share with me how you organize your spaces tag me on instagram i love to see it feel free to comment here or dm me on instagram i want to hear all about it and for my next video i'm going to cover the smart devices in my home this is a highly requested video so remember to check back and i will see you in the next video bye